Welcome back everyone. This week we're at Wild Man and we're here with quite a few people today actually. Um, there was... Uh, we had Jeff, uh, Adam, uh, Regan, uh, uh, Michael, Bill, uh, Matt, Chris and Jesse. And, and yeah, or Yun. I always forget if it's Yan or Yun. My bad. <laughs> um, yes, so we're out. Feels good. It feels good to be riding with a bit of flow. Ah, nice smooth wildman trails. Actually, this side that we started on, it was actually quite smooth. Um, uh, like, I frankly remember Wildman being a lot more rocky than this, but perhaps it's because we didn't go out of the car park and we went a different way out to, out to start with. So, um, there was like a little rocky section. I didn't get a huge amount of footage today because I we were we were chatting at one point where both groups met up because the group split apart as the there's a bit of um of a a difference in rider ability so we didn't want to like keep everyone together because that would have been not so great um and and it would have exhausted half the riders way too soon and you know you don't you don't want that we don't want people to like have have a bad day it's all about having fun oh blew the corner there. <laughs> It's a little bit slippery of the leaves, but as you can see, autumn is starting, the leaves are starting to fall. Trees aren't red yet, though. Um, yeah, so the group didn't... I didn't get much footage because because of the group, we were chit-chatting, and I left the camera filming for like 20 minutes straight, and I just basically blew out my entire battery, and I was like, oh, well, never mind. But, yeah, coming back, it was it was good to feel like the, 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 the terrain that isn't trying to, like, literally destroy me and I can get some nice flow and get some nice speed. My suspension was a little bit soft right now so I was like dipping and diving and kind of going a little wide. You can see it in a few of the, like, the turns and stuff. I'm like wait a little wide there, a little wide there because the, the suspension is like bouncing around because it's a bit soft for the speed that I'm going. Um, I do turn the compression back up. I think I had it at like six uh, for the cord. Um, and I, I cranked it a few times, so it was like 10 right now, and then I never t uh, and then afterwards I stopped and cranked it all the way up to like 16 or 18 or something. I, don't know, I think it was like six, 16, 17, and I um, upped the rebound. I upped it 5 at first, and then I realized I was getting pogoed around a little bit, so I put it back down. Um, I don't actually know what that's on. I just kind of put it up and down by five. But it feels pretty good, and I was very happy. I mean, like, right now, this is just, like, nice smooth terrain. Um, we actually ended up doing two laps, or two half laps of Wild Man, because we kind of got lost. And there's, like, a lot of logging going on right now, so we didn't know where to go. And we started to, started to struggle to find trails, and when we tried to open up the OFTR map, um, it just had no trails listed on there. So we're like, oh, uh, that's strange. Um... The sign saying where the logging is, so we didn't go into those places, but we just didn't know how to connect the trails, so we ended up doing like two loops <laughs> of this like rocky bit, and this rocky bit felt pretty good, um, just like cruising across it. I, I, I mean, I say rocky, it doesn't feel rocky anymore, but there's there's a few rocks here and there. Get some sweet jumps. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. I, I'm really happy that I moved over to the moose because. Like I was saying before, I, I'm sure I'm not going to get a puncture riding at this speed, but I now have the confidence to just ram into stuff and see how the bike reacts. And um, Well, Jesse's still on his tubes, and he said he started doing that's just the same just to see what it feels like and see how the bike feels and like how it deflects and stuff like that. Um, and I think that's like a really good thing to start practicing. Um, I have the confidence of not being able to get a puncture. Um, he will eventually, once he starts figuring it out well enough. Uh, right now, we're actually following Jesse. Um, yeah, so I, I think it's good to practice. It, it, it makes me feel a little bit more confident hitting some of these rocks. Like, oh, bumpy, bumpy. Like, I don't know, before I would never have just done what I just did because I would have been panicked that I was going to... The one that was going across, I thought, oh, maybe if I hit that too hard, I'm going to punch my front tire or something like that. But now I'm just like, ah, slam into it, see what happens. Same as that. I hit the most spiky one is still... And it felt... It felt good going across it. I felt confident. I didn't feel like anything bad was going to happen. Probably the most thing that I feared going through there was banging my shoulder on the tree. But realistically, that I wasn't going to do that. So it was good. Um, so, yeah. Like, I like... I like this. I mean, it's an expensive way to experiment. But, you know... I have... I've invested, so I might as well use them. And try and gain some confidence riding across things that um 
would have unsettled me in the past. So yeah, it, it feels good to be out. It feels good to be out riding nice smooth trails. Um, we keep switching back and forth. I think right now uh, I, I took the lead for a little bit, though not for very long, because um, don't that we just came out of the trails and you know whatever. But it, there was another thing that was going on today. Um, as you can see, it's kind of like really bright and dark at the same time. So when I had my uh, goggles on, I, so I have like a, a slight blue tint to my goggles and I just couldn't see shit. <laughs> I had to take them off, I just couldn't see. Um, I think the blue tint from what Fox was telling me is good for motocross. So when you're out in the wide and you've just got a lot of sunlight and he has like a yellow tint, so um, he says that's really good for in the forest, but absolutely terrible when you come out of the forest. So, I don't know, maybe I'll just get like a clear visor or something for future. <laughs> so we're following Chris now. Chris has been, yet again, been improving. I was, um, when, when the group eventually split again and some of the other people went off, um, on our second lap round, Chris, uh, every time Jesse and I, we were, we were having a bit of fun, being a bit like, you know, excitable, turn around, like within 10, 20 seconds of doing an entire section, Chris is there. Probably not showing him in his best light right now, but he he had def definitely massively improved. Uh, every time we come out, I swear he's improving. I wonder if it's because he's like got his suspension fixed up for like like properly for himself, and he's got some tires that he can be confident in. And a bit more seat time. So yeah, um, I don't know what to do about the goggles. Uh, I, I feel like I shouldn't take them off, but I just couldn't see and. Not being able to see, I think, is more dangerous than not having any on, because, I don't know, it kind of, kind of makes sense to me that would be more dangerous. <laughs> um, brakes are squeaky. Probably should oil those. Get some, get, get, get a load of the oil over those brake discs. Mate, no more squeaks. No more stopping, but, but no more squeaks. <laughs> Yeah, it's good to it's good to get out. I know there's only a few more weeks left of the year. I thought I can't ride next weekend because a little mini holiday book to go to New York. Oh, that little thing on the left, those buildings. We came through here. I didn't see it at all the first time. I was so focused on the trail. Um, yeah, go to go. But yeah, go back to uh, go to go to New York next year. Never uh, next year. Next this week. I'm, I'm releasing this video. That's that's cool. Never been there before, so that should be interesting to go see a, a big mega city. Um, no riding there though, <laughs> but it, it's good to get away. A little thanks, uh, Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Can't believe how expensive it is there. I'm not, I'm not surprised. I can't believe it. Oh, lovely little wheelie. All right, well, guess we try and follow him. Uh, he's pretty quick. <laughs> so we're following I th this guy. I think his name was Bill. I hope his name was Bill. Otherwise, I'm just going to be calling him the wrong name, and I've been calling him the wrong name. Uh, <laughs> It's a bit of an older gentleman. He's over 60 and he's absolutely fucking ripping it. Like, he's hard to keep up with. <laughs> Man knows how to ride a motorbike. It's really good fun watching him watching him ride. I was like, I think I learned quite a bit. I was like, oh, interesting. That's, that's, so he was doing that through the corners. Especially like his body position. It was really interesting to watch his body position. Seems to be like very precise in his uh, riding. And has a lot more stamina. He can stand up a lot longer than me as well. Need to need to work on that. And he knows how to like rear brake turn as well, which was cool. <laughs> oh, so much to learn. <laughs> so much to learn. I'll get the list of things I need to practice, and I'll uh, try and practice them in my yard, right, over the next year. <laughs> get get hopefully get out once or twice. We'll, we'll see. Um, but all in all, this day was absolutely beautiful. I think it was like 18 degrees. Actually perfect weather. Um, absolutely, absolutely fantastic autumn day. Not too hot, not too cold. Didn't even drink all my water. I only brought like a litre and a half and didn't even finish it. Like that's how perfect the weather was. Just no need to ex exert yourself even though you're like, you're not going to get thirsty. Even though we're riding, like, I would say a pretty quick pace. Oh, I had to, like, you know, I was seriously trying to dodge my face getting whipped by uh, trees because I don't have my goggles on. I just can't see with them on. And I don't particularly want, like, a tree in the eye because that would suck. Boing. Decided to try and jump this. Ah, we're out having fun. Try and jump logs. That's what I was saying to Jeff in the uh, car park afterwards. I agree, like, 
everybody hopefully just goes out and has what they want as a fun day. Some people like to ride fast, some people like to just do dual trail and absolutely rip around, other people just want to potter around and have a good time. Like, that's what I love about this sport. You meet so many different people. He was riding like a 1984 C something, a Honda 1984 482 stroke. It was pretty damn cool. <laughs> pretty damn cool. I mean, I don't really want to kickstart a 480 uh, like he was having to. I, I'm going to stick with my modern luxuries like a electric start. <laughs> I was actually come, come to the realization I've only ever once kickstarted a bike and it was a child's bike. <laughs> Never actually kickstarted a proper bike before. Maybe it's not so bad. I think it was quite bad. <laughs> he was mentioning it was a little bit of a nightmare to start that day. But, I mean, vintage bikes, eh? But yeah, this was all in all an absolutely fantastic day and met a lot of really cool people. And um, my speedo came undone again after all the cord. Uh, it lasted the whole cord totally fine and it came undone at one point. So that's uh, that's not cool. But yeah, I think that'll do for this week. Nice and short. Yeah, nice day out. See ya.